Good morning from Bangkok and this time I will be comparing an individual frame from a video file to an actual raw photo. So let's do that. I want to show you something that I have been done, I have been doing lately with my clients. I have said to my clients that you don't have to take photos anymore to get photos. Meaning that um, instead of taking normal still photos to get, well, uh, still images, uh, I have been starting to take individual frames from the video file shot with the GH5, this camera, in 4K and 10 bit. So for social media, for Instagram, and the quality is good enough. Okay, let's start with the tutorial. Okay, here in Photoshop, I have a bunch of photos that I took from an event last week. So there in this event, I wanted to test this hypothesis that could I take uh, video frames and use them as uh, uh, normal stills. So I took uh, raw photos and I took corresponding video files. So then I have this opportunity here in Photoshop to um, try and make the uh, video file to look as good as the raw photo. So this is the raw photo and this is the vlog uh, video frame that I'm going to try and match to this uh, raw photo. And I want to tease you with something. I have actually created a bunch of lookup tables that you can do a rather exact white balance and exposure corrections just like you can in Adobe Camera Raw or in Lightroom. So here on the left each of these layers is one lookup table that uh, makes a one function in the footage. So let's um, First, let's transform the uh, colors and the contrast from VLOG to Rec. 709, so, so basically making them look normal. And as you can see, it's very warm. So then let's uh, dial in a bit of coolness. So this lookup table, this blue one, I can with this, I can quite accurately uh, load the white, white balance, 32 or something. And this has less, less contrast, so let's add contrast by uh, using this curves adjustment layer. And then if we look at this, they seem to match okay. Okay, now we have done the global adjustments by using these lookup tables. And uh, then let's dive in and let's see the image a bit closer. So here, when we compare, this is vlog and this is raw. You can see that the raw photo seems to have much more detail than the vlog footage. Well, that's because the raw photo has more resolution and less compression. So that's something that we cannot do anything about. But what we can do is to add a bit of sharpening to this footage so it looks the same as this. And then when I'm looking at this um, raw photo, to my eye there's much more local contrast uh, in this um, raw photo, this one, than in the vlog footage. So let's try to do something about that as well. Pressing down Command or Control, uh, Alt, Option and Shift and E, we make a new layer that is like a stamp copy of all of the below layers. So with this layer, we can go to filter and then camera raw filter. So then here we can do some um, adding some sharpness and some local contrast. So let's first add some sharpening by masking this. With this masking slider, I'm uh, making sure to only sharpen the contours. So let's sharpen it like that. And then let's, while we're here, let's remove just a bit of noise. That's good. And then uh, let's add a bit of local contrast by using the uh, clarity slider. Not too much, just a bit. Something like this. Okay. And there we have it. Now let's compare the raw and the video file. So they're much closer. As you can see, the local contrast really, really gave it some more of that raw quality. Another way of adding a bit of uh, local contrast, or adding a bit of pop, that you can do actually in Premiere as well, is by making another stamp layer and then putting it on top, and then using a filter called uh, Sharpen and Unsharp Mask. This effect normally, you normally have it at zero and uh, at one, the radius one and amount 50, and this will sharpen the image, but we already sharpened the image, so we don't want to do it twice. So instead, we're gonna add a much more higher radius, like 40 pixels, and let's dial it down the amount to about 30. Let's see, something like this. And this, as you can see, gave much more uh, of this pop. But personally, I don't like how it's crushing the shadows. So instead of using the normal blending mode, I'm gonna use the light and blending mode. And this will apply the footage, uh, the uh, layer, only to the lighter parts. I'm most likely gonna make a tutorial about blending modes somewhere in the near future. So let's talk about those blending modes then. And now we added two kinds of local contrast to the footage and it's starting to look as poppy as the raw photo. Uh, we could 
tweak the colors and the contrast even more to make the raw photo and the video file look exactly the same. But the point of the CD video was to, just to test if we could use individual video frames uh, to replace uh, still photos. Okay, and in a future episode, I will show you how to uh, do the same local contrast adjustments in Premiere or in After Effects. And then, as I said, in the near future, I will be making a package of, of this all different kind of lookup tables with which you can accurately change uh, white balance and exposure just like in Adobe Camera Raw. So, what do you think? How big is the quality difference between video frames and raw photos? Is it the small one? Is it the big one? Would you dare to use this technique to create a still images and video file at the same time with your clients? What do you think? Tell me in the comments. And yeah, see you in the next one.